So you might be asking yourself, what exactly are PAPI lights? Well, they're these red lights. Now you can see they're white lights. And the purpose of these red slash white lights is to help us know how high we are on approach. And obviously we vary our height on approach. We're continuously descending. So we want to know, are we too high for where we're at or too low for where we're at? So it's a glide path. It's a three degree glide path down to the runway and it follows this sort of path here. So when the aircraft is high, say you're a mile and a half final, well a mile and a half final you should be 500 feet above the ground. So maybe if you're 700 feet above the ground you'll have this indication here which is four white lights. Four white lights equates to more than three and a half degrees um, glide slope. So not three and a half degrees above glide slope but three and a half degree glide slope. We want a three degree glide slope to the runway, three degree angle down to touchdown, not three to one, three degrees. That if you have, say, one red and three white, then you're just slightly high, and that would be 3.2 uh, degrees approach path. If you have two red and two white, well, then that's perfect. You're right on 3.0 degree glide path, and this is like 99% of the time, it's gonna be three degrees. Occasionally, you'll notice in the uh, airport facility directory, um, or now called the chart supplement for that airport, that the PAPI may be adjusted to a different angle. Oftentimes your approach plates will note that as well. If it's not three degrees, if maybe it's steeper. And here, of course, we can see our slightly low indication of three red, one white, and four red indicating low. Uh, basically, if you see four red, that's a great time to think about executing a go around. You are definitely lower than you should be, and there's typically no reason to be that low uh, unless you're already over the runway. So just to go over what these things look like, they're basically these orange shoebox shaped things projecting light and they're typically on the left side of the runway, sometimes the right, sometimes both. Now we also have this diagram here that shows us how it actually works. It's just a light bulb with basically a red lens and a white lens is the best way to think about it. And it's projecting a red beam of light down and a white beam of light up. And this whole mechanism is actually tilted slightly up at a certain angle so that you know that when you get below that angle, all you see is the red or all you see is the white. So there's no sensor or no laser beam that knows how high your aircraft is. It's just simply if you're low, you're gonna see red light out of it. If you're high, you're gonna see the white light and not the red. So it's a very simple device. It's simply on or off. There's no sensors involved.